Today I'm going to teach you how to make a drawing of a leopard shark. You can use colored pencils or crayons, that's what I used in this artwork, or I'm also going to teach you how to create a leopard shark like this created from a piece of styrofoam and you can print it multiple times using different colors. Notice the different perspectives. From this one, you're looking at the side of the shark, and this one, you're swimming above it looking down on the shark. If you're going to make a print, what you will need is styrofoam. Hmm, where am I gonna get styrofoam? Let me show you where I got mine. I got a piece of styrofoam for my print from a takeout container. So you've probably been ordering out a little bit. Uh, so what you wanna do is you want to take a takeout container, wash it, and cut a piece out. So you wanna find something that doesn't have a lot of logos, and that's what you can use to create our prints, and then you're gonna use washable markers. Today's art project is inspired by the leopard shark. I'm going to teach you how to do this drawing with crayons, but you can also use colored pencils, markers, paint, whatever you have. Leopard sharks can be five to seven feet in length. The average bed is six and a quarter feet long. They like to eat fish and they live in the ocean. Sharks are cartilaginous fish, which means that their skeletons are made entirely of cartilage. The same squishy material that is found in our human nose and ears. They are a lot more flexible than their bony fish cousins. Leopard sharks inhabit a narrow band of ocean and inlet areas in the Pacific Ocean between Oregon and the Gulf of Mexico. They are some of the most common sharks found along the coast of California. These sharks have dark, saddle-shaped splotches along the fins and upper body. I have had the pleasure of swimming and snorkeling with leopard sharks in La Jolla, and I've also seen them in Laguna Beach. Let's get started. Start with pencil that has an eraser. Make sure you draw lightly in case you need to erase. Draw lighter than what I'm doing in the video. Make sure you pause after each step to catch up. We're going to be drawing the body first and looking down on the shark as if we're snorkeling from above it. That first fin I drew is actually one of the fins that's on the side. It is a pectoral fin. And that second fin I'm drawing is the dorsal fin, which is the fin on the back of the shark. Now another pectoral fin, so now it looks a little more like we're swimming above the shark and we're looking down at the top or the back of the shark. Leopard sharks spend most of their time near the ocean floor. Now it's time to draw the pattern on the back of the leopard shark. The pattern is not quite like spots that you'd see on a regular leopard. They're more shaped like a saddle and then they also have some other spots. So now doing some of the smaller spots, almost like little triangles. And when we color these, the spots will be darker than the rest of the shark. Now divide up the background with some wavy lines that will color different colors. Now it's time to color. Did you know if you push harder on your crayon, it'll make it darker? I'm doing that to outline the shark and also in the background. The shark actually has a second dorsal fin. That's the fin on the back towards the tail. I forgot to draw that, so I'm going to draw that now with crayon. I recommend to look up a picture of a leopard shark and look at that when you're coloring. I had very limited colors in my crayon box, so I had to use what I had. I can't wait to see your finished artwork. I hope you really enjoyed learning about the leopards of the sea. Materials you will need for the print are markers, washable markers, a magazine, a pencil, pen, printer paper, the styrofoam you cut, tape, scissors, either paper towels that you'll dip in water or a bottle that can spray water. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to trace your styrofoam onto the printer paper. You're going to draw your draft of your drawing on the printer paper first so that if you make any mistakes, you can erase. If you draw directly on the styrofoam, it will put dents in the styrofoam and you will not be able to erase it.
Now it's time to make a print. Get a magazine and put the styrofoam on top of the magazine with the magazine open. This will help protect whatever you're drawing on because you're going to draw off the edge of the styrofoam with washable markers. Color this however you'd like. The great thing about prints is that you can redo them or you can create many different versions of the same image easily. After you finish coloring, turn the page of the magazine so you have a clean page. Then dip your paper towel in water, squeeze the water out, and rub it on a piece of printer paper. Put that printer paper on top of your styrofoam, hold it still, take a marker, and rub it across the page to distribute the ink evenly. Now I'm cleaning it off and I'm going to print another one. You could do as many prints as you like. So now I'm going to do a diagonal rainbow. Notice how when I color, I go off the edge of the styrofoam onto the magazine in the background. That is exactly why I use the magazine, to not get anything dirty. When you're done, turn the page so you have a clean page. Get your printer paper, wipe it with a wet piece of paper towel, place it on top of the styrofoam, rub it with the marker, and voila, another print.